Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, terms goes further into hyperbolic functions and I'll look further at the catenary function or curve and go over example two of the uh, catenary video series. And let's just jump right in. It states, here's the example. It states a flexible cable always hangs in the shape of a catenary y equals c plus a cosh uh, x over a where cosh is again hyperbolic cosine where C and A are constants and A is greater than zero. Now it says graph several members of the family of functions. Y equals A cosh X over A and here the only difference is here they've made C equals to zero. And then we're asked how does the graph change as A varies? Well let's just jump right into the solution here and uh, basically what I've done is yeah, I just pulled out my uh, trusty old Desmos graphing calculator. It's uh, one of the best graphing online calculators I've seen. And let's just go right here on Desmos to show you what I uh, made. So here's a bunch of catenary curves for different values of A. So what I'll do here is first I'm going to hide this and then hide this and then go here. Here is the uh, just a generic function A cosh x over A plus C. And here I've also set the domain between uh, the x is between negative 10 and 100. Notice what happens if you <clears throat> if you change this, if you go to negative 100, it just goes up to there, but I've also set it as y is less than 20. So add another 0. So notice here it just goes all the way up and up. Same thing here, if you put another 0, as you can see, it turns something like that. Let's just put everything back to normal. Just like here, just because it's a bit neater. And now here's the A value here. You could slide it and change these values, or you could just press play and see what happens. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see there, let me just start slowing it down. So as A, once A starts increasing, I have it uh, A is greater than zero, so I have it from one. So as A is increasing, notice it's becoming flatter and flatter, which it should actually, and I'll get to it later, because it's proportional to the tension within the um, yeah within the cable yeah so as the tension is increasing it's like pulling a string and it just becomes more and more flat like that so let's just click it here uh, just a generic one and here the C uh, is zero but if you it changes the C values all we'll do is move it up and down it's not actually compressing it so if you just change this to let's go with um, let's go with 200 so they yeah, just just put another higher value so this key just moves up and down because remember I've set the domain from negative 10 to uh, to 10, so it's always going to be between here. So let's put this back here. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty cool. It looks like it's shrinking. All all it is is moving it up and down, which is quite fascinating. Let's go back. I'm just going to first pause it at a non-zero value. So that's non-zero, just just because uh, the reason I do that, I'm going to hide this. And now here I have the exact same catenary function except I put B there just so I can have both them together and I put B equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is just A. It's the same exact one. I just replace it just so I can have a separate graph right there. And now here I put the uh, the uh, values or the point 0 and B. So notice these aren't actually on the y-intercept. They're over there. Show label. Well, let's click here, show label. So it's over there. That's because C is not zero, but if you make it equal to zero, notice what happens. It's exactly on the intercept, which is quite cool like that. So yeah, uh, the A, yeah, A or B is the same thing. So A is on the Y intercept at C equals zero. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Let's just go over here and I put all the results across here, there's our function, and there's our values right here. Remember, it flattens, and I had it from uh, B is 1, 2, 3, 4, or A. That's right, equals A. Uh, and now right here, we have A equals to 1, 2, 3, and 4. And likewise, it's, gonna, it's symmetric about there. So A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Like I'll put some commas across there. And let's just scroll up. So when C is equal to zero, the intercept, the y-intercept is equal to A, as I just showed. And as A increases, the graph flattens. And uh, changing the value of C just moves the graph up or down. And 
And now I just want to illustrate further on, on this A increases, the graph flattens. Well, recall that A in this particular catenary formula formulation, as I showed in my earlier video, was defined as the ratio of the tension at the lowest point of the catenary, uh, T0 or T0, to the linear weight density of the cable, W0, like that. And you can uh, visualize this as... Yeah, as let's say right here, so you have a cable hanging from here to here, okay, and then this has a, a weight d density right here, this is just going to be weight over unit length, whatever that unit you use is, like that. Yeah, that's a unit like that. To get the T naught, what we have to do is, well, we have to separate this into a free body diagram. Here's the lowest point of the catenary, somewhere there this dot better. So what I'll do is I'll look at a segment like this and I'll separate it. Uh, first, first what I'll do is graph the exact same replica right here on the left side. So I'll just separate the whole thing just to sh just show you how these forces work. Just apply basic physics. So yeah, I finally drew it better there. So now if we have something like this and I'll separate this segment across here. So we have a segment across where there's a center, and this is just any generic point across there, and then s split that up, and also then we'll end up having, let's say, another point like that. So that's this one there, and that's this, this value over there. And now with physics, yeah, if we were to separate this at any point, there's going to be a, well, uh, there has to be a, a force there to, to, to what uh, is holding this in place, there's a force or a tension, in this case it's being pulled. We'll call that T naught, that's at the lowest point. Yeah, since we split it up here, let's move that down a bit. Uh, what we have to have is an equal and opposite force here, T naught, and then on this side right here, this is just generic one, we have T, and this is a tension T across from this side. Yeah, think of uh, each element of this cable is uh, if you split up anything, the forces acting on it is going to be equal and opposite force. When you split it apart, then you just put these back together. That's how it's sta sta yeah, that's how it's stationary like that. So now that we have that, that's our T naught. Yeah, so thus we have the ratio A equals to T naught over that linear density over there. Yeah, so thus, as the tension increases, we would expect the cable becomes more horizontal, just like pulling a piece of string. So as T naught increases, what we also have is A increases, and then we have, well, a flattened uh, curve. And you could even uh, visualize this as pulling a string, uh, like this. Let's say you have, <laughs> I'll do some, uh, my best attempt at a drawing. Let's say you have a hand like this, and then it, it's, uh, I'll draw this very lightly like that. Let's say you have a piece of string like this, and then one, two, three, four. So uh, missing a, a finger one. Yeah, let's fix that up. It looks something like this. Let's say you have a piece of string, and then it's dr hanging like that, and then you pull this really hard. So you're increasing the tension across here so that that obviously is going to increase the tension everywhere including the bottom so what's going to be is it's going to be a flattened uh, curve like that and this is just going to be well increasing up let's draw this a bit thicker like that so this is well increasing like that and be and it becomes flat as expected from here and that's our T naught just wanted to draw it like that split it up this illustrates some more physics on there and uh, yeah so at, at that is as expected as you increase a value it becomes more and more flat anyways that's all for today hopefully you'll learn from this um, pretty interesting e example video on graphing catenaries as well as some physics behind them and it was all for today hopefully you learn like always you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below as well as viewing these notes notes in article format on steemit and also make sure to check out my new math forums on Reddit and vote. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.